Welcome to day 26 of our January challenge 2018 and we are now going into our midsection for our funky blues by the brilliant Ben Crichton Griffiths and we are loud today. I will play it for you first and then we'll talk through it. It's a nice quite straightforward feel to this bit. I like it a lot. So here we go. I'll play for it for you first. One and two and three and four. And... Okay, so let's look first of all at this left hand. We've gone harmonically somewhere else. We're now going down to our A flat. Okay, we play the A. We leap up to an A with finger three, two on the C, thumb on the G. It's the same pattern that we've been doing in our F and G bar when we were doing. From a placing point of view, it's the same idea. We're going A and then A again, and then these notes that are a fifth apart, C and G. But the rhythm is the same as our C bar rhythm. Um, so it's one and two and three and four and yeah, A, like that, okay? Then we go down one and do the same pattern from the G. G, we've got that lovely B natural and it just does that again. A, three and four and should we go around again on the A flat? Super well done. So the top hand, we're again starting on this G, it keeps coming back to this G note. G, and we're nice and strong and loud, so a good strong finger two. And then we're gonna place three, two, one, F, G to the B flat. And that's tied on, so that B flat sounds just before the beginning of the next bar, and stays on, and then, G, F, E, G, so one, two, three, one. And then F, G, C this time. Okay, so the first time we went up, we went F, G, B, or B flat. This time, reaching one higher to the C, okay? Should we give that a go? This is bar 15 from the G, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three, and two and three and two and three. Lovely. So then it's just fitting that over this left hand. Remind yourself the left hand. A. Da da da. Da di da da. Da da da. Okay. That's my post coming through the door again. Not sure what I've ordered, but that no, sounds quite heavy. Here we go. Let's try it together. G in the top hand and A flat down there. Okay, one, two, three, and four, and. And again, one, two, three, and four, and. One more time. And the only other thing that you might want to be thinking about in this left hand is whether or not you want to do any damping of these bassist, most bass notes. So, okay, I'm going to leave that up to you to see how you feel. So, the way I was doing that to damp the A, I was just doing an open hand and really just touching it with my fingers, not even my whole hand, just my fingers, to touch that single note and then placing my G. 
But then because the G was just coming up one, I just used my fourth finger to touch that G and then move to the A. And you could use the fourth finger both times. it will keep this cleaner from those murky metal strings there reverberating down the bass. So it's good to do if you can, um, but if that's one thing too much to think about, don't worry and just let it ring out and enjoy it. Well done. <laughs>